Hello Collective and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So guys before you're reading I wanted to tell you about the Christmas giveaway. Yay. Um, I do this to show the love you guys. Thank you so much for all the love you've given me. I wanted to give you guys a Christmas present. Okay. Um, so um, I've got five decks here to give away for Christmas. Okay. We've got the Lucky Journey Tarot. Okay. Really awesome deck. Okay. This is like um, old style kind of deck, right? But with, um, with very vivid illustrations. I love the illustrations in this deck. And then we've got the Beginner's Tarot, right? This one is really good if you want to learn how to read tarot. It spells everything out for you on each and every card, okay? Um, and then we have the Star Kiss Tarot deck. This is great for intuitive readers. I absolutely love the illustrations and the, and the pictures on these cards, you guys. I have this deck, and I love it. It's a fabulous deck. Um, and then we have the Garbage Pail Kids deck. This one, I'm giving everybody another chance to win it because <laughs> it's kind of a fight for this deck every year, okay? And the Cat Tarot, we have to include this one because it's everyone's favorite. Well, everybody loves this deck and they ask for it a lot in, in um, the giveaways. So anyway, five decks to five lucky winners on Christmas Day. All you have to do to enter to win is be a subscriber. So subscribe to the channel and type in the comment section the name of the deck you want to win, and you'll be entered in for the drawing. And I'm going um, to notify everybody and um, tell you who won on Christmas Day. I don't know what time on Christmas Day, but Christmas Day, <laughs> I'm going to announce the winners. All right, so good luck, you guys, because these are really awesome decks. And then, um, it's, you know, to my subscribers, right, we're going to have another giveaway for Valentine's Day. Okay. Ooh. All right, so let's see what's going on in the energy you guys once again this is a collective reading right um it may not resonate with all of you and that's okay just take what resonates leave the rest behind and thank you everyone for all of the likes um sending me the love right the confirmations um all of my subscribers a huge thank you and everybody new here welcome all right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective today? Messages for the collective. Spread your wings. It's time to fly. And I keep getting that. It's time for me to fly. I got to set myself free. Yeah. Um, yeah, stressed out. Okay. An abundance is coming. An inflow of money love or rewards okay i feel like um i feel like it's all of the above you're being rewarded here because you completed a cycle you know um you're no longer willing to stay in stagnancy there's been no communication maybe um if you were in a love situation i feel like this is a love situation right um you're tired of um, waiting for somebody to get their life together and their act together, right? Um, you've got confidence now. And I feel like if you were to stay in stagnancy, man, you would burst those seams. You know what I mean? Um, your, your soul doesn't want to be held back anymore. Okay, so you're breaking free from something here, releasing, right? And closing out a cycle, completing a cycle. You're, you're filled with confidence right now, so you're really strong, making bold boss moves for yourself. Um, yeah, and you're still growing. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth, okay? So it's time for you to go. And I feel like because you completed the cycle properly, you're getting a bunch of rewards, okay, for that. An inflow of money and love, okay? I feel like it's both. I feel like love is coming into your life, money's coming into your life, success, new opportunities, new soulmate connections, everything is realigning for you. I feel like you've gone through a shift. It says shift your perspective for a gained sense of clarity. I feel like you've gone through that shift. 
Um, and your clarity is that you know you can't stay in stagnancy anymore. Okay. Stress. If you're feeling stressed out, it says to cleanse and detoxify from unnecessary in, uh, commitments. This is you releasing cleansing that energy some of you could be doing a home cleansing if you don't know how to do one there's plenty of videos out there on it okay but i feel like um you're releasing burdens here things that stressed you out at one point you're getting rid of it any kind of clutter anything that no longer resonates with you you're getting rid of it you could be taking things to donations you could be um, putting things in a burn pile <laughs> you know um, I'm seeing somebody here getting rid of like gifts that were given to you by exes right just tossing them in the fire you know um yeah i i feel like this is you bringing down an old tower so that you can rebuild a new one all right and possibly even being led in a new direction i have been picking up on a lot of people moving okay if you haven't been called to change your location or change your job or get away from um like an old group of people that are low vibing individual something like that you're going to be moving leaving something behind okay if you haven't gotten those messages yet you probably soon will i feel like people are being redirected realigned right to their wishes to be able to come in you know spirit is realigning people redirecting people okay and I feel like this is a time of celebration for you. You're feeling really good out here, collective, I got to say. Good times come from hard work, time spent in good company. So you've put in the effort, you've learned your lessons, you've passed your tests, okay? Um, you could be out celebrating something. This could be like um, Christmas parties, birthday parties, um, just going out with your friends and having a good time, celebrating with yourself and being grateful, you know, some of the best times I spend, I spend with spirit, you know, we go shopping, we go traveling, you know, um, we go out to eat on dates. So, I mean, you could just be doing something like that, in, enjoying some Christmas shopping, tooling around, you know, you're finally getting out and about. You're showing yourself to the world and you're doing it in such a confident way that I feel like you're attracting a lot of opportunities to you right now. Okay. And spirit is aligning everything so that those doors of opportunity just kind of fly open for you. Um, you're going to start noticing people want to be around you because it's that energy, that confident energy that you have. Um, you're attracting people to you like a magnet. Um, I'm telling you, so you're going to get new love coming in, new soulmate connections. I love this energy for you. I do. And you really have been putting in the work. You, you could be um, working a lot of long hours. You could be getting ready to make a job change. Okay, somebody could be, um, you're leveling up either way, you're, you're upgrading. So you could be getting a promotion, a job change soon. Maybe that's why I'm picking up on travel. Somebody may have to travel to a new location for that. But yeah, you're, ha you're doing some fun things. I feel like you're rediscovering yourself a little bit. You know, we've spent so much time in isolation, right? It's been a long, difficult journey. You have reinvented yourself. You've transformed. And now you may be out here just kind of like, you know, uh, maybe you've never tried. They're showing me mini golf. Maybe you've never tried mini golf before and you go and try it and realize that you really like it. You have a lot of fun. Maybe, um, maybe uh, you don't know how to shoot pool or something like that and you go and play a game of pool and it turns out you're really good at it and you have a lot of fun. You're starting to rediscover the things that you like now, the things that are going to make you happy now, you know. Um, you're, you're kind of um, 
Yeah, I just feel like it's rediscovery energy, okay? I really like it, collective. I'm digging this energy for you. And you're de-stressing. You could be taking a lot of spiritual baths, um, cleansing your energy, right? Um, praying maybe um, for the divine to cleanse you and protect you. Um, yeah, getting rid of any item that may bring back bad memories. I feel like you're just outgrowing a lot of things and rediscovering some new things, okay? Or discovering some new things. Hermit energy. Why is the hermit here? Ugh. This is somebody from your past. <laughs> this is someone from your past that's missed out on an opportunity, okay? I feel like you're all that they think about. Um... This could be somebody older than you, or this journey has aged them quite a bit. Like, they're feeling really old. They could be um, in uh, isolation right now. Maybe they're kind of on shutdown mode, too. This person isn't acting right. They just kind of want to be left alone so they can watch you. This is all this person does all day. They just watch you all day. Does this person not have a job? Um, you know, this is wanting to put the work in, but I'm seeing this as um, a laptop or a computer in front of them, and they watch you for long hours. You could have um, some kind of platform, anything that you do on the Internet, okay? Um, anything on the Internet. If you're on social media, they're watching everything you post. They're looking through all the comments and reading those as well. Um, if you have some kind of public platform or a website or, um, a blog, anything like that, they're watching everything that you put on. Yes, it's the truth. This person, I feel like they want to know details. Okay. Oh, when I laid that card down, I, I'm just getting this strong feeling like they're looking for every detail they can find about you and what you're doing in life, but yet they're, I feel like they keep their themselves hidden. So this is under a fake profile. Okay, they may want to talk to you. So in watching you, they may be wondering when is a good time to talk to you, okay? When will it be a good time? When will they have a good chance? I feel like this person has been kind of waiting to see if you were going to heal from this. You know, um, they didn't want to approach you when you were still angry with them or when you were still heartbroken. Okay? I feel like they've kept their back turned. They could even be um, trying to manipulate the outcome. Okay? Control the outcome of this. Um, wanting you to reach out to them, perhaps. And you're not doing that. You're leaving. You're leaving them behind. You know, some of you are still trying to heal from a betrayal here because these swords should be behind you in this boat. But you're moving on quietly. I feel like this person could be getting frustrated because you're keeping your moves hidden. Like, um, they can't see what you're doing. <laughs> okay. Um, they can maybe see things that don't really amount to much. To, like, I mean, um, superficial things maybe. You know, you could be making a post about what you had for dinner last night. That's it. But, you, but other than that, they, they can't see if you're dating anybody. They can't see if, um, if you're moving away. They can't see if you're changing jobs. No big accomplishments in your life. You're not sharing that. Okay. Some of you have gotten off of social media altogether, and this person can't seem to find out the information. So they may even um, get tarot card readings on you, or that's maybe what they're watching, like, obsessively. This is, this is also obsessively watching you, trying to learn something about you. Long hours of it. Look at this cobweb, right? Long hours of this. So they could be going from one, look at all of the, if they're getting tarot card readings, look at, they go from one to the next just to try to find some information about you, okay? 
So I feel like this person is obsessively watching um, tarot readings. You could even be a tarot card reader. If that's what you're doing online, that could be it. You could be a spiritualist, a, a tarot reader. Yeah, when they don't like what they're hearing, okay? They, don't, they, they hate what they're hearing. It's almost like they don't want to hear anymore, but they have to watch because they're so obsessed. They could have gotten or paid for personal readings over and over and over again. There may be a reader, if they're getting personal readings, this reader is to the point where they don't want to tell them anymore. They just, they, I feel like they may even turn this person away. And if they do, this person's going to lash out. They're going to get very upset. But any good high priestess, right? knows better than to keep giving information about somebody else to somebody. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, especially if she thinks that you could be a divine being or something. She may turn this person away and say, you know what? You've come to me too much. I feel like you're possibly a hater or <laughs> something, and I don't want to read for you anymore i'm sorry no right this person lashes out about that because they have come to this I, I feel like they they may be paying whoever this is they are either watching a whole lot of readings or they're paying for them if they're paying for them they've asked this reader to do it so many times like seven seven or eight readings really seven or eight readings Personal readings, that's excessive. It is. It's excessive. And she's on to it. So she's going she's gonna to say no, okay? Or whatever they're hearing on social media. Um, it's like they don't want to hear it, but they, they keep watching tarot. It's, it's really, um, it could even confuse this person. Yeah, they're being told, I feel like, somebody new is coming in. You know, the Knight of Wands, a lot of times we see them as a player card, but I'm seeing this as fresh, enthusiastic, new energy, okay? Now, this person is stuck in their head about this because they want to get back together, and you're not giving them any of your attention, and you may be offering your love to somebody new. This person is going wild thinking about, um, are you sharing any passion? That If they're getting ter personal readings, that's a question that they're a asking this reader. Are they, are they sharing passion with anyone? Are they sharing passion with anyone? Over and over again. And this reader is like, no, man, I can't give you any more readings. Okay, I can't. You could be a, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or this person could possibly be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, see, they want to know who you're, who you're with, who are you dating, who are you sleeping with, who are you giving your love to, who's touching you, who's kissing you, who are you talking to, what kind of dates are you going on right? Bah, right? That's what it's given me. You know, the movie scene that they're showing me is from, oh, what movie is it? It's with Winona Ryder. Is it Reality Bites? It's a movie called Reality Bites. Jeez, I haven't, that's a, <laughs> that's a blast from the past. I haven't seen that one in a long time. Um, in that movie, um, is it Ethan Hawke? Ethan Hawke is in love with Renona Ryder, okay? Uh, but she is dating someone new. She's dating Ben Stiller, okay? Which I feel is a better match for her. But, um, yeah, anyway, they're making out in a car. Like, she's got a, she's got a hot date with this guy, and they really, really like each other. And they're making out in a car, and Ethan Hawke comes walking up, right? And he sees them in this car, and the look on his face is just like, oh my gosh, you can see the pain and the jealousy in his face, right? Um, he gets really upset about it. That's this energy. 
that's the scene that they're showing me. Um, drop a comment if you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, they're very burdened by this. And that's kind of this scene right here. She's dating someone new. She's talking to Ben Stiller, right? And Ethan Hawke comes walking by, feeling all burdened, watching them make out in a car. I kid you not. Because this person, um, this is a person from your past. They want to get back together. They're, they're, they're envisioning you with somebody else, and they can't stand it. They cannot stand it. Okay? But we've got justice on the bottom of the deck. And that's telling me that spirit says that this is fair. You know, you look, you weren't meant to be toyed with all the time. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles energy and the Queen of Cups, this is your energy. Very loving. Um, uh, that love that you have in that cup, that's a flipping gift for anybody. Like nobody loves in the deck like the Queen of Cups. Okay, and with the Queen of Pentacles energy out here, you are worthy and very deserving of a commitment. Somebody who's going to be solid and stable and grounded for you. You know, um, you weren't, you're not here to be toyed with. You're not the kind of person that's meant to be um, played games with, right? And I feel like that's what this person is doing. If they wanted information so bad, you know, why aren't they coming to talk to you? I feel it's because they've done a lot to you. Um, and um, they don't want to take accountability. They don't want to face you. Okay? They're carrying the burdens, not just of everything that they're hearing about you, but everything that they remember they did to you. And they don't want to take responsibility for it. They don't want to confront it. So, you know, but Spirit is saying this is fair. The collective deserves so much more than what you're giving them. Okay, so much more. And that's why you're being led to release. You, you're deserving of your blessings, okay? And you're, uh, I feel like with the, the kind of growth that you've had, um, you've outgrown this. You've outgrown the games, the stagnancy, uh, the wait time, the no communication, you've outgrown it all. They may want to get back together with you, then why aren't they coming and taking some kind of action towards you? You know, that's what they need to do. Yeah, see, they don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. But what are they actually giving to you, though? This is on this person. It's a burden they need to carry now. Because you're literally, you're dropping this. You're releasing, you're confident, you're ready to fly, and you're about to get new love, okay? Yeah, this was somebody who, I feel like they want to turn back time, okay? That's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. They want to turn back about that. And um, not only do they want to turn back time and have an opportunity to do everything differently, but I feel like this person was trying to manipulate the outcome this whole time. They didn't want to come towards you. They wanted you to come towards them. They wanted you to chase after them. And quite simply, you're not going to do that because you know what? You always knew you were the blessing. <laughs> you always knew you were the blessing. Okay? You're not going to be chasing after this person. So whatever plan they had to control this outcome and manipulate you into chasing them, it's all backfiring on them. It is. It's all backfiring on them. Now they're feeling burdened to the point where they can't stand it anymore. Okay? But that's on them. And that's what spirit is saying here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with a Libra. Because you deserve better. You were meant for better, and you are about to get approached with other love offers. Okay, you are. Here's the thing, though, that concerns me, is that the people that are coming towards you in this reading are knights so far. Now, you're going to have multiple options, I feel. 
but a queen of cups, a queen of pentacles, I feel like you deserve a king of pentacles or um, an emperor, all right? So know your value and don't settle for less than what you deserve. Like for real, do not settle for less than what you deserve. Um, yeah, because you deserve somebody who's going to actually commit to you, not somebody who's going to walk away from you, ghost you, and leave you out in the cold. And I feel like that's what people have done to you in the past. Okay, knights are not always reliable, and these two here are the most unreliable knights in the deck. So I feel like you will be meeting new people, maybe even going on dates, but choose wisely your next partner because you literally, you're a blessing, you deserve a, a true blessing in return, okay? Do not settle. You know, and I feel like that's what this person wanted you to do. They wanted you to settle. They wanted you to chase. Okay. And you're not doing it. Yeah. And now they're stuck. They're seeing you from a whole new perspective now. They're jealous. They're angry. Ooh, they're fuming. They're jealous. They're angry because guess what? You have new options in love. You're getting new opportunities that are like, it's wish fulfillment, it's abundance, an inflow of money, love, and rewards, okay? And you're choosing a new path. And they're seeing here, they're never going to find another you. The Empress in the Minor Arcana and Earth Angel Energy. And right now, you're manifesting a new soulmate connection, okay? You're working on your abundance. You're becoming successful. You, you're on a glow up. This is you um, gone through a transformation, right? Reinventing yourself and happy being single. You know, you're happy being single, but that's when new love usually comes in is when you're focused on other things, right? And the thing is, is you, you're not chasing them because you know what your love is worth. You know your value, and you're a high value, um, highly respected on the 5D individual, okay? So, yes, do not settle for anything less than what you truly deserve, and that is wish fulfillment, okay? And this person from your past, they're just, they're stuck. They're stuck watching you. Okay, they're stuck being jealous, envious. This person is obsessing about you. But Spirit says, it's fair. You get to move on to new love because this person, they're not taking action and they're playing a bunch of games. Ooh, collective. You could be a Virgo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Your person could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Virgo, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let's see what your oracles have to say. Messages for my beautiful collective. Yeah, see, they are watching you start a new life, okay? I cannot make it up. They're watching you get new love, somebody who's going to be loyal and dedicated. I'm telling you, all this person does is obsess about you. Holy cow. They're spying. They're observing. They could even be driving past your house, driving past your car, watching you from a corner in the neighborhood. I don't know. Definitely watching you online, everything that you do, trying to figure out when this new love is coming in, right? Um, yeah, and you're being gifted here. This is all of this abundance. As you release and spread your wings to fly, here comes your rewards. An inflow of money and love, okay? I'm telling you, and they're watching this happen. Yep, new energy, you guys. I cannot make it up. 
I can't make it up. So yeah, this confirms everything that I was talking about in the reading. Um, just know that this person is like cyber stalking you. They may even start stalking you because if they were getting personal readings, that reader won't help them anymore. And so they, they're, they're going to start going crazy because they need as much information on you as they can. They need their daily fix. This person is addicted to you. They're addicted to you. They're addicted to tarot readings. Like this is, this is like a major obsession. This is a stalker. You've got a stalker. And spirit is like, I feel like spirit is protecting this, this new start for you. So you have protection because they, this, this person can only watch you from afar. Notice they're not, they're not able to come towards you. So I feel like spirit is standing in the way of that so that you can have a new beginning and truly be happy. Okay. Anyway, collective. Yeah, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps and resonates, you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Join this awesome soul tribe. And good luck on, um, on the Christmas giveaway, right? And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.